What up guys, Mikael here from Yigatech and have you ever wondered how much TV you could purchase with a budget less than 10,000 pesos? I mean, what do we even really do with our television sets nowadays? We stream movies and shows with Netflix, Amazon Prime, and the like. We also like to play games at large formats, whether on console or PC. But wait a minute, with a budget less than 10k? Brand new TVs are capped between 32 to 43 inch panels depending on their make. Well, what about projectors? Xiaomi's made some budget-oriented ones and the ones from brands like Xgmi and Anchor's Nebula might be too high of a budget to consider. Well, Cherry, yes, that wow. Cherry, the one that still makes phones and smart appliances, recently sent us the Superior View Pro, a portable projector that promises to revolutionize our home entertainment experience for only 8,999 pesos. That's what I'm using to project this fire behind me, cause fire! So I guess I won't be able to hold the projector with me here on screen, but we do have B-rolls that should be playing all over the place. With that said, in this video, we're doing a rundown of our favorite features from the affordable projector to figure out whether its promise up to 200 inch display projection at full HD is worth considering for a home entertainment upgrade on a tight budget. The Cherry Superion View Pro boasts a 4.5 inch Full HD LCM display with a market and brightness of 8,000 lumens with automatic focus and keyframe correction, which all sounds pretty cool on paper as long as you can get the auto keystone feature to function properly. And we aren't the biggest projector nerds in the industry, but for 8,000 lumens, this projector does seem a little bit more dim than we were expecting. The picture bodes well in dim lit conditions, but like any projector, it's best used without any lights on. But our first favorite feature about the Superion View Pro is it runs on Android, which allows us access to Netflix, YouTube, and other streaming platforms, but at the same time enables us to use the projector as a makeshift computer with browser access. So, I think those of you thinking about purchasing the projector will be glad to know it also comes with built-in audio. The Superion View Pro comes equipped with a powerful 9-watt speaker, delivering surprisingly decent sound quality without having to hook the projector up to any external audio sources. Whether you're watching movies, playing games, or giving a presentation, the built-in 9-watt speaker ensures a somewhat complete audio-visual experience. It gets louder than a portable Bluetooth speaker like a JBL GO or anything similar, with good loudness but lacks a lot in clarity. Then again, it isn't like they promised 5.1 digital surround sound or something like that. But if you're looking for poppy highs and hand-banging bass, you won't be getting that from the Superion View Pro. Set up here in the studio, we've casually watched movies like The Fast and the Furious, Netflix shows, and have even streamed music for ambiance, and they truly do sound okay to all right for the most part. Media with a lot of dialogue like a podcast or something fares a lot easier on the 9 watt drivers. One of the standout features of the Cherry Superion View Pro is its wireless screen mirroring capability. But it may not be as easy as launching YouTube or Netflix and tapping the cast icon on your personal device. The Cherry Superion View Pro supports screen mirroring or casting via Miracast. Users may do so by heading to the apps tab from the home screen of the projector and selecting Miracast. Once Miracast launches, we can head over back to our devices. In this instance, I'm using a Samsung Galaxy S23. So those of you using a Samsung device should be able to follow. On your Samsung device, select Smart View. You can find that in the drop-down quick access menu. Now we select Superion View Pro to cast our screen to. And within a few seconds, your device's display should be mirrored onto the projected image. For YouTube, like I mentioned, we can't cast natively through the cast icon within the YouTube app. Well, I mean, technically you can. So after you tap the cast icon, instead of waiting for the loading bar to uh, find the Cherry Superion View Pro, you're supposed to select link with TV code because 
without that, um, it won't show up. Assuming you're on the YouTube app with the Cherry Superior View Pro, you go look for the gear settings icon and find link with TV code there. And for Netflix, you may just want to stick to using the included remote to play something after you've logged in because even with Miracast, the Netflix app will not allow what you're watching to be projected because of their copyright protocols. So you just get black screen on projection, but it's like playing on your device. What the projector does show is subtitles, if that's your thing. And our next and final favorite thing is how light the projector is, which adds plus points for portability. The projector's form factor isn't the smallest out there, as we know portable CD player size projectors exist. Although with these dimensions here at Yugatech, we can easily go out on the team building and bring the Superior View Pro with us connect it to an external battery and just watch some of our favorite movies in the mountains or something. But for what it does offer, the Superior View Pro does have an overall good looking design, which can blend well with varying home decor in our opinion. That's about it on our favorite features from the Cherry Superior View Pro. But before we cap this product feature, we definitely need to highlight I.O. Found at the rear of the projector is a USB-A port for media playback, followed by an HDMI 2.0 port for video output, and a 3.5mm audio jack for connecting it to external speakers. We also get a compartment here at the rear that uh, houses the filter, the air filter for the projector, because this, this projector does feature a fan inside. And that can get dusty, so that's what the air filter is for. You come with an extra one in the box, so yay. And for connectivity, the projector gets Wi-Fi and Bluetooth support. That's the standard dual band 802.11 Wi-Fi standards. That's why we're able to access the internet right over here. So to wrap up my thoughts on this projector, we need to answer the question for less than 10K, is the Cherry Superior View Pro worth picking up? Well, for less than 10,000 pesos, it's definitely worth considering. Depending on the space a potential buyer might want the projector for, I might want a small TV with better contrast and good usability even with the lights on instead. But then, if I get to the Netflix and chill with my girlfriend every weekend, maybe a projector can elevate that entire experience to our usual routinary Netflix and chill norm, I guess, right? Because, you know. So at the end of the day here, it's more like good contrast in terms of picture quality with the TV versus not as good contrast with a projector unless you have a projector screen, but if you're just using it to project on walls, the upside is you can get it in varying sizes. Like it's practically about 80 inches when you project it on our wall in the in most of the B-roll you guys see. So well, that's cool. But of course, if you don't have that distance in your living area and a black wall, then your results may vary. So that's what you would have to consider when choosing between a TV or a projector for less than 10,000 pesos. But other than those reasons, if you want something better, it's time to look ahead and save for the future. The Cherry Superior View Pro is now available for purchase on Shopee, Lazada, and the official Cherry Store. What did you guys think of this quick feature with the Cherry Superior View Pro? Let us know in the comments section below. And if you enjoyed this video or found it informative or short but sweet or kind of fun or oi I'm a little bit. Be sure to be sure to smack that like button subscribe to our YouTube channel hit that bell icon to get notified of our future uploads. Be sure to visit yugatech.com and follow us on our socials that is Facebook, Instagram, X and TikTok for the latest tech news and reviews. That is an ad playing. Once again, this has been Miguel, and that's the Cherry Superior on view projecting the moonlight behind me. Here's the projector itself. I will see you in the next one. Flashing light, bye bye! But clearly, what's happening here seems pretty sick. Oh no! Ad! Is that an ad? Holy crap. It's Ding Dong Dantes. What's happening? Sup, bro? Okay.